This is an amazing partnership. Uh, Telltale announced partnership with Gearbox, and now I'm here with uh, Dan and Kevin to uh, to talk about uh, the announcement of Game of Thrones. Uh, I think this was you know rumored a few weeks ago. I think when people heard Telltale Game of Thrones, it's such a perfect match, um, guys. I mean, how did this thing come about? Well, we're we're huge fans at the studio, obviously, like everyone. Yeah. And uh, and we really wanted to do it, and we just kept working and working and talking with HBO uh, to figure out the right the right way to to get it done, and and we did it, and it makes a lot of sense. I think they saw Walking Dead and said, yeah, that makes sense for for Game uh -huh. of Thrones. There's a lot. Did you ever think you're going to do a game based on Dream? Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't. I, <laughs> All right, so I'm sorry. <laughs> well, but the, you know, as you mentioned, HBO, uh, you know working with you guys on this so people wonder this is this based on the books it's not it's based on the the tv show right yes. the tv license yeah yeah, yeah. So we're, we're it's a great world i mean it's, it's a rich world and uh you know they've made the the game the show has really interpreted it very well but it's right. still a huge world and, and we'll yeah. be we'll be taking advantage of all the fiction to make something great awesome so people i'm sure wonder how, where is this set you know which book or which season i mean how, how are you approaching the story what is the game of thrones game Oh, we're just we're just really getting into okay. it right now and, and thinking about the right characters and yeah. and who has kind of the most at stake and yeah. who has the most um, the most to do and who can who has the biggest impact on the world because you know we're so much about consequence and Game of Thrones is so much about big consequence. Uh, what do you do with a I mean with a show like Game of Thrones? Obviously, the books the fans are borderline psychotic, <laughs> and obviously, if you put out a game, you've got to somehow match that or go further. I mean, what do you do? Well, psychotic fans are, are actually a bonus, right? Because there's just so much love and uh, feedback, you know? Um, and we're episodic, so when we put something out and people get into it, it becomes part of our feedback loop, and right. we just keep, like, reinforcing everything that people are into. So it's, wow. it's a great opportunity. We're excited Will about you it. Shoot we the fall game into the category of psychotic fans yeah. ourselves. <laughs> that too. Will everything. you shoot the game in Ireland, in Malta, and in Greenland? Virtual Greenland. <laughs> okay, right. Greenland. It's much but easier. A good question. Will the uh, actors from the, the show will they be involved at all? Um, I think I think we're still going to try to figure that out as we right. as we define who the characters should be and how much is is new and how much right. is existing and um, you know who who are the right fits for the time period that we do. So, so it's a lot so of work. Excited to do. you guys are doing it. Are you going to have like crazy sex scenes between brother and sister, like in the show? The show has crazy sex scenes in it? I don't, I don't know if you've seen it. <laughs> it's pretty psychotic just, fans. It would be a You're psychotic fan. Uh, I really like the show a lot. And if I don't like the game, I'm I'm coming for you. <laughs> well, I mean obviously huge expectations, but let's talk about the, the style of game, because uh, Game of Thrones could lend to some, you know, truly, you know, sort of epic action moments. Have you guys thought, Kevin, I mean from a technology perspective, what is this gonna feel like? Is it gonna be similar to other Telltale games? Uh, I think it will be similar to other Telltale games, but it will, I mean, you can't tell a Game of Thrones story without right. big battles and, and uh, those kind of elements. So they'll definitely be there in the okay. story. I think the way that we attack them and the things that you do in yep. those battles are going to be kind of more of a Telltale way of doing it. So um, you'll be swinging a sword every now and then, but you yeah. won't be hacking your way through a right. hundred You could be playing like uh, black smoke that comes out of a woman's uterus and unlocks a gate. Or you could be using it in some way. Oh, yeah, you could, okay, cool. Yeah. Joel, you're getting the design I'm now. getting like very that. specific. Very, this, is, are you this, is, this is your game. Is I'm excited for your Masters of Sex game, too, that's coming out later. <laughs> uh, so let's talk about the, you know, obviously the idea of choice and consequence, which is a big thing in Telltale games. Yeah. How does that dovetail with something like Game of Thrones, which obviously has a somewhat defined narrative, and that's, is that why you're thinking of side stories and other characters and how that can sort of blend into the main plot? Yeah, you know, the world is just, is just so rich, and, but it's so personal, and each of the characters have so much at stake on a personal level, and people yeah. really care about the characters, but there's also the larger world going on. So we like universes where there's a lot at stake, and where when you lose something, you really feel it. So yeah. when the player's making their choices and trying to decide, what they should do, it, it means something, and, and Game of Thrones has that huge universe and that huge political landscape that just, um, you know, is really, really something that we can take advantage of based on, uh, to make the game better and to make a really unique experience, just a great experience for fans of the show. You can hardly make any character in the Games of Thrones universe can hardly do anything without huge ripple effects and right. collateral damage. It's just every word is... It's perilous. Well, and the idea that you guys could have potentially, you know, new fiction or sort of surprise people with sort of new elements, because sometimes people that watch a TV show, you know, some things are spoiled if you have uh, read well, the books, so. Well, yeah. I think, you know, it's that 
weird thing of, I can't wait, I'm sure they won't be, they'll be surprised by the game, but they'll want so much of that, you know, is in the books and in, in the show, obviously, and it sounds like you guys are doing that. Yeah, the, the book is just a great resource to really understand the decisions that they made on the show and how rich the world is. So it's, it's just a really, uh, you know, it's a huge franchise. And, you know, historically, we've worked with different franchises that have that type of, that type of depth. So, uh, so it's, it's exciting so when you have that. perfect. I think this is, like, the exact developer we'd want making this oh, game. Oh, thank you. Uh, and this is uh, really exciting. In 2014, it's, it says uh, in the piece, so it's, uh, it's coming yeah. sooner than we might think. Yeah, it's shaping up. So. I can't wow. imagine the work you have ahead of you. Well, thank you. Your yeah, hours must be <laughs> well, Thank you guys for sharing this with us. It's uh, a big announcement, and we appreciate you coming to VGX to, uh, to make the announcement. Thanks, you guys. Thank Thanks, you. Guys. Awesome.